G'day guys, welcome back to Valheim. Hope you guys are doing well. We are just hanging out here in the smelting room, getting some more black metal smelted because we have been working quite heavily on uh, improving our storage silo. Hopefully we'll get more of it improved, maybe even in this episode, but we'll see how we go. Uh, but my focus in this episode will hopefully be continuing what we did in the last, which is trying to get ourselves closer to the boss spawn point, the Emerald Flame. We are almost there. I sort of, uh, I guess wanted to get there in the previous episode, but, um, yeah, overconfidence sort of set me back quite a bit in that one. But, uh, we did assault another fort. That's always nice. We have a few more bloodstones, which is cool. We sort of wanted to look for that. Uh, but yeah, starting to sort of run low on black metal until I realized that we actually have a bit of a stash going on in the plains base. So hopefully that'll uh, keep us going for a little bit more. Right, so we've got emergency rations still. I guess we can probably make a move immediately. Unless there's anything that we want to do before we go. I mean, we've got all of the supplies, so I think we'll just head straight out there. And yeah, I sort of just want to make sure uh, in this episode that we, you know, get the portal placed in a pretty good position so that we can have that fight. Um, the last couple of bosses, or I, I can't remember if it's the last couple, but at least with the Queen, we actually had to enter a different instance uh, to then fight the Queen. Um, so it's, you know, not such a bad idea to put your portal, you know, very close to the spot that you actually enter the, the Queen's lair. But um, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be the same with the Emerald Flame. If we fight the Emerald Flame out here um, and there's no cave or, you know, structure or anything like that that we actually have to enter in, then I think it's probably wise to put the portal a bit further away because obviously we don't want the portal getting taken out. Let's deal with this Morgan, because we don't want him becoming a problem later on. Alright, very good. Ah, okay. There's a, actually a Monument of Torment that's just buried in here. That's so unfair. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Um, I'm gonna start eating some more food because we're getting bombarded with so many enemies here. Oh my god. Just dodging and weaving these, uh... These arrows. Man, that was too close for comfort. Alright, um, yeah, and then we've got the problem of the lava sort of being in the way. I did sort of mention, do we try to place down some bombs or do we just try to go around it? My take is that we need to go around. I do see a Valkyrie over there. Just want to keep an eye out on that. Some vultures. Try and take these guys out. A 
We'll go for this Monument of Torment. Now hopefully we can sort of go in that direction. might set things up here just very quickly because um, I want to move stuff back home. So I'll just quickly drop a few things. I'll get you to quickly explode please. Yeah I've got a few enemies there. Let's try and leave before they make their approach. I'll quickly throw stuff in and be on our way again. Uh, I wonder if I should be taking like a stamina recharge potion. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the stamina recharge potions either because uh, it just feels like it doesn't really give us like too much of a benefit. But I am recently finding that um, it's become more and more difficult to sustain sort of swinging around our sword and blocking and stuff like that. Have a lot of vulture meat and a lot of vulture eggs as well. Didn't really see any Askvin there. We do want to try and kill as many Askvin as we can. Just throw that out there. Okay, so... I think we should be able to go in that direction, so let's make a move. Do we deal with these guys? I think I do want to just try and clear them because they do end up chasing us for quite a bit and the last thing that we want is to find ourselves needing to fight a tougher enemy and then have to deal with um, all of these regular ones as well. Yeah, okay. Okay, um, is that another cave? I think it is. I haven't been marking down some of the flame metal that we've passed, actually. So, yeah, I don't know if I really want to continue doing that. I, I suppose I should, because you never know. There might be a need for heaps of flame metal sometime soon. So... We'll leave stuff just in case. I know there's one here. And possibly another one just before it, but yeah. Anyway, won't worry too much. Again, we've got all of this lava still blocking the way. I'm starting to feel like uh, we might need to use our bombs to try and get through. Yep, 
I mean, there it is. Again, still no... A real pathway, I feel. I wonder if going around the other way would actually help. So going up that way. So this is what I'm going to do, guys. Uh, it, this could be a really bad idea, but um, I'm thinking of picking up the other cape and I'll have the portal set up here. Um, that way we know where to come back to when we need to escape. You know, it is pretty open, but, you know, we've got the... The workbench is set up there, so presumably we won't really have too many enemies spawning in the area. There's a monument over there. I don't know if I should go for it. Probably I don't need to, I don't think, so it's quite far away. But yeah, I think the idea is I'm going to sort of do a lap around the lava. I mean, I don't really know how far... Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Just when we don't really need anything else bothering us. Okay, let's just hang around here with the skellies for a moment. Do a little dance. Why are these guys so mean? So mean against all of the piggies around here. Poor, poor piggies. That reminds me, I do need to... Try and get out there and tame an Asvin. I don't know if I should tame a couple of Asvins, guys. Um, considering that sometimes it can be difficult to find like a lot of Asvin, maybe it's not a bad idea that we try to breed them. Uh, what does worry me, though, is if we do try to breed them and we're trying to cull them, we could accidentally um, kill McLock's face, which would be very sad, <laughs> considering how much trouble we went through to try and, um, and get McLock's face tamed. So I don't actually see Brenna, and this happened last time as well. Like, does she only appear later, or what's the deal? Or perhaps maybe she's somewhere else, and she hasn't really made it to our position. Oh. No, that's just a normal skelly. There's another one over there. Come on. We need all the skellies to come together. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Brenna that we're looking for around here, right? Um, with this particular fight. I don't see her anywhere, to be honest. Uh, I don't actually see where the others have gone to. Most certainly not attacking our base. Or perhaps maybe they're trying to attack other things. There tends to be a lot of animals and stuff gathering on this side of the estate. So they could be hanging around here, perhaps. Or maybe not. Okay, well, they've all disappeared. Party's over. Let's go back. 
So let's grab our cape. I'll also just pick up some rations as well because you never know. We might get hungry out there. But yeah, I think if we just run around with this thing, hopefully we can sort of scout out the area and sort of decide if there is a way to get through without using bombs. Uh, I'm hoping that that's the case, but could be completely wrong. Okay, um, I mean, another thing is, like, it could be getting late. Yeah, you know what? I think it's probably a bad idea to leave midday because I don't know how far we're going to be venturing away from the portal. Uh, I'm gonna sleep early tonight, I think, and, um, we'll hopefully be able to do some work if we leave early morning. Let's hope that it doesn't rain or anything. Twenty-one minutes, the hot tub is not running. I will need to throw in some wood, but we'll do that later. Twenty-two? Twenty-three minutes? Yeah, that's not bad, I guess. Potions? Maybe. Maybe we'll grab some potions in case we need to fight. I suppose maybe with this cape, I should be able to sort of, um, I guess run away from danger. I don't need to keep challenging everything. That's my guess anyway. So yeah, the idea is we'll just go this way and I want to see what's north of what looks to be like a, a bit of a castle over there and um, we'll see if there is a way in. Ooh. Yeah, I do want to fight Asvins though. Yeah, just need to be a little bit careful on, like, managing stamina and stuff as well. It's great that we can run a little faster. But it does mean you have less stamina to fight enemies with. Okay, so there's some patchy areas here, which you could perhaps maybe jump through. Have vergers here? Yes, we do. All right. Our verger friends that'll defend us. We'll take their lanterns as usual. Oh, 
Okay. I mean... This is looking very promising. Yep. All right. All right. So, oh, a couple of asps in here. Just looking to see if they're like one stars or not, because um, our fighting style against a one star would be vastly different. Yeah. Okay. Don't know what to expect in there, but I know that we need to spawn the boss, so it's not like we'll we'll have any issues. we get too close. I wonder if there are any monuments that we need to deal with in this area. Um, so I think maybe instead of fighting more enemies here, what I might do is... Hmm, I'm just trying to think of the perfect spot to set up a portal. And I'm thinking maybe just outside here. I think, you know, obviously we won't be able to go in to the Verger settlement, but if we set something up maybe in this spot, that'll probably be decent enough for us. So, how do we get here? I guess maybe probably just like jumping around this area. Okay, so that was good. That was good. I'm happy that we did that and um, we now just need to go back and fetch the portal. And once we have it placed down, we're really poised to strike. Do we fight the Emerald Flame in this episode? Perhaps maybe we could. I just don't know if we'll be able to, you know, fight it completely or, or win the battle in this episode. I think most of our boss fights have been, like, over a couple of episodes. looking relatively clear. Let's just go back for two seconds and um, I just want to see if I can drop a few things. A lot of this Askvin meat, which will be very nice for all of the pies a little bit later. Um, yeah, all this important stuff. I mean, it's great that we've got a lot of ingredients for basalt bombs, but I don't see ourselves using too many basalt bombs moving forward, even though um, flame metal seems to be uh, very accessible, you know, like um, they're quite close to uh, quote unquote dry land. I guess it's not exactly dry land, but it's like, you know, not, not, uh, not scalding hot land. Um, let's have another meal there. A little bit wasteful, but it's alright. 
Yeah, I'm not grabbing the cape just yet because I don't really intend to have like big fights anytime soon. I'm just gonna move where we've set up. Okay, right. Off we go. Hopefully nothing happens along the way. Oh. As soon as I say that. I feel like that Valkyrie could be a problem. Unless we can sort of scurry around it and um, not attract its attention. The alternative is we could bring it close to the Divergers and the Divergers might distract it. Maybe. Yeah, this is it, isn't it? Um, I think the vergers are still here. Probably have still survived, right? Or have they all died? Oh, okay, they're having a bit of a congregation over there. Uh, that's fine. But yeah, I think this is the spot that we want. So, just gonna quickly grab some of these things before we clear it out. Okay. <laughs> Going a little bit crazy here. Let's hope that they don't attract too many things our way, because this is supposed to be our safe haven, so to speak. Good. All right. I guess I'll take a little bit of extra Grouston. Um, yeah, let's head back. So, um, I'm not entirely sure if I should start the fight in this episode or if I should hold off. Um, one thing that I do know is that I would like to prepare more food before we go into this fight, just to make sure that we've got a bit of a stock of decent foods that we can just continually consume. Um, just throw a few things there and yeah, I'll, I'll switch the cape a little bit later. Let's get into the foods now. Um, what else do I need? I need the eggs and I need... So I need flour and flour has been kind of an issue. because our windmill doesn't seem to be working very hard. <laughs> okay, uh, we can add quite a bit more this time. I'm hoping we have a, a decent amount of flour to work with. 49. Eh. That'll only give us like, what, eight pies? Yeah, probably around eight pies. What else do we need? We need berries. So getting low on the berries.
I think the piquant pies are the ones that we're really running low on, so... I think what I'll do is I'll do, like, six of these. And then we'll do a couple of crust pies as well. And... If we want to do mashed meat, we need these as well, so yeah, we should be able to do a couple of mashed meat. Good. Alright, so let's throw these in, and in the meantime... Just gonna chuck that back there, all of that as well. I mean, I think I have a decent amount of food, to be honest, to be able to go into the fight, but... I think I want to maybe start a new batch of potions. Might be a good idea. So we need, I think, blood clots. that in. See if we can harvest some honey as well. You know what, I may as well do one more batch, because having a bit of a supply is always a good thing. So Emerald Flame, my assumption is, based on the name, is that we're going to be dealing with a lot of burning damage. So perhaps maybe getting some more of the wines... Oh, well, we've got like 10, <laughs> so maybe I don't really need to make more. Um, but I was also thinking weapon-wise, is it a good idea to maybe switch to um, Frostner again? Because that'll deal like cold or freeze damage, right? And I assume that that's probably going to dish out additional damage as a result. Could be wrong. Um, hmm. Yeah, I've got a few bits and pieces. Let's just throw some of this stuff in here. Yeah, I might want to work on some bolts. So we'll do that. Let me just quickly get the bathtub running. Oh, um, I forgot about there being a sconce out there, which I should actually load up. Or perhaps maybe we do need to change to um, more Dverger lanterns out there. That way we won't need to worry about feeding it resins all the time. I think it was a totally missed opportunity by the devs, though, to not be able to use the uh, the new resin that we get from the Ashlands to 
power stuff and to make it like a, a better fuel source, if that makes sense. So my assumption is that the Storm Ripper is probably not going to be doing like too much damage to the Emerald Flame. But at the very least, you know, it's dealing lightning damage, which, I mean, who knows if it's going to be that effective. But at least it's not like burning damage. Cool. And yeah, I guess if we're going to have this fight, we're going to have to switch to the other cloak. So let me quickly grab the other cloak and we'll get that equipped. I'm just looking at all of our gear and the level of our gear. It is all level 3. I'm still thinking that that is still the max level that we can get it. The Berserker Axes. Um, is that something that we can upgrade further? I, I suppose maybe I haven't really done that because we haven't decided which version of the Berserker Axes we want, right? Um, Berserker Axes. I mean, I think it makes sense to go for the Thundering Berserker Axes. Five Flame Metal, one Iolite. And I think we have a decent number of Iolite. Though it does already say that the next level of Needhog is going to need two Iolite. I think we can spare one. One sec, guys. I also just want to see if we can continue smelting all manner of things. Right. Let's get this upgraded. And yeah, I guess if we do find ourselves in a situation where we're running out of Iolite, well, we're going to have no choice but to to go and find some more forts, right? So I'll wear that if it ever comes to that. So, <laughs> And then now we should be able to upgrade that as well, right? And that is definitely available for one Iolite. Might be cool. And five flame metal, that is. So... Brilliant. Okay. Now I'm just double checking that we actually don't have the the level for any of the stuff that we already have. Yeah, okay. The flame metal shield is level 3 and that's the max level apparently. Uh, that reminds me of another shield that we had which was also max at level 3. Which seems a little weird to me that everything else can be upgraded further. Uh, all right, it is bedtime, so I think we're just going to have a sleep now, and yeah, I suppose maybe we should be checking out the boss. I know we need uh, bells, if I'm not mistaken, so I'll carry some bells with me. Just can't remember how many based on the comments that I've seen, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Or should I just go out there and just fight my way to the spawn point? Maybe that's better. 
We find our way to the sp uh, spawn point. We check what's there. And yeah, we'll see if we can then plan for how many bells we need. Let's have Brecky. Oh yes, uh, do I want to bring Mistwalker? I'll do that a little later, actually. As I'm gonna see... Uh, that there's likely a need for us to retreat from the, uh, the boss spawn point. So... Uh, that is also a bit of a worry. Do I need to worry about, like, maybe just getting rid of any Monuments of Torment nearby? This could be a long process here if I were to try and take it out from afar. Um, but I guess it's maybe a good thing that we're taking it out, because, um, better safe than sorry, you know? As they say. Oh, Lord. I do not want to use bone mass, like, immediately, because... <laughs> Um, I was a little bit afraid that we would be dealing lightning damage to our friends, which I don't want to do. I don't want them turning on us for the time being, because you never know, we might need their help. So, we'll try and be on good terms with them. Yeah, that is definitely too close for comfort, that, um, that spawner, so I'm gonna try and get rid of it from here. I could bomb my way there, but that seems like a lot of work, you know? <laughs> I think it's easier if I just... Yeah, okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, what? We've got Aspins? I mean, sorry guys, but I need the Aspen meat. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's do some Aspen farming. And, yeah, they seem to not take any damage in the lava. Oh god, alright, this is... This could be a problem. Should be one more there. Okay, let's, uh, let's actually get into this place, because bloody hell. 
keep getting distracted with a bunch of stuff happening. It almost looks like a... I don't know, I was gonna say like a castle, but maybe it's more like a coliseum. Possibly. Yeah. So, we didn't have to enter anywhere. So my assumption is that this is pretty much where we're going to have that fight. Um, bell holder, yep. So... And there's something... Altar of the Emerald Flame. Ring the bells. Okay, so I guess I just need to put all of the bells in first and then ring it. So we got... How many? One... Two... Three... I guess it's three bells. Again, I would love the area to be clear of any form of danger before we even start. I'm just having a think of this fight. I think I'm sort of going to change tune a little bit with the cape. Uh, and I might go back to the Asvin cape purely because that'll let us sort of get away from danger. And um, retreat, you know. Because I think I just want to figure out... Um, how we fight the boss before we fully commit. That's the plan anyway. Throw that in there and ask for meat as well. Everything else goes back here. And it's just a constant struggle with, like, having so much stuff and needing to bring home so much stuff constantly. Okay. Um, cape. Everything's in full repair. I think we're ready for this fight. I probably just need to have a meal. Oh, um... <laughs> I forgot the most important thing, the bells. My bad. My bad. Okay, so we've got two, but we need three. So, I can't remember how many fragments we need. Possibly three for each, so let's just quickly make the bells. Yeah, but these uh, bell fragments, I guess we have quite a few more in case we want to re-challenge the boss. Um, I don't really see us doing that. But you never know. Do I need a fourth one to actually ring the bell though? I'm thinking probably not, but we shall see. Uh, and just so that we can survive, I think I'm going to use bone mass as soon as... Oh, man. <laughs> we we have so many distractions with uh, what we're trying to do. I do want to clear the Valkyrie. The Valkyrie is a problem while we're fighting the boss, so let's get rid of it. Nice. 
feel a bit bad about the vergers taking a bit of damage there, but... I wonder if they actually recover their HP after a while. I sure hope so. Okay, let's do this. Lord, okay. Now I feel like we have to wait for our HP to return. I guess it's not going to take too long though. I see another monument of torment just over off in the distance, but I think maybe that's much further away, so probably don't need to worry too much. Okay, so let me just orient myself. So that's our escape route. Um, now let's chuck both ass on immediately. Ring the bells. <laughs> All right, the emerald flame ignites. Oh my lord. Okay, so falling meteors are a thing. So, gotta keep an eye out for that. Okay, so he's got a bite attack. And a swing attack. I don't know if that's blockable, but the bite attack looks like it's... It's probably something that we can... Yay! Yeesh. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay, getting stuck on stuff is uh, also something that we need to look out for. Ads. And uh, yeah, all of this burning is probably an issue as well. So, <laughs> since we've still got three minutes on bone mass, let's see if we can get a few hits in. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, all right, that's a new attack. Did not see that before. God. Okay, it is blockable. And that one's blockable too. I'm thinking of definitely bringing um, Mistwalker with me out here. So we did take a tiny bit of damage there, but it's only tiny, perhaps because of bow mass. Oh, that's what I wanted to block. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. to run from all of the falling meteors. Uh, 
Okay. So, there's a bit of an issue with, um, is it pathing? I guess so? A bit of an issue with just trying to hit this guy, and, um, the game doesn't seem to register it. It's either that, or the head is invulnerable, and perhaps maybe what we're trying to aim for is the, I guess, the abdomen or the heart, perhaps, because it is glowing. Um, so with that, I sort of want to experiment to see if using bolts would be a better option. But sort of need to try and get a clear angle. Uh, I guess it doesn't really do too much more damage. Alright, um... I think I'm gonna back out of this fight for the time being because I'm wanting to see if Mistwalker would be a better option for us. Oh, okay, right. Okay, so... He does actually get trapped within the, um, the arena, so... That's, that's really good to know, actually, because... Um... If he can't leave the arena, it means that we're pretty safe out here and I won't really need to worry about him getting too close to the, um, the portal. I am sort of a little bit concerned about, you know, bosses like Yagluth, for instance, because they can pretty much chase you down or, you know, bone mass. That was also the same. They could chase you, uh, pretty far, actually. Okay, so I think we learnt heaps from uh, all of this actually so I'm really happy with where we're at uh, in this episode we not only managed to sort of uh, poise ourselves and um, get into a really good position uh, with the portal but uh, we're also learning quite a lot about um, the enemy's weakness as well and I'm hoping that in the next episode we'll experiment with uh, Mistwalker and see if we do extra damage with that. If not, I think we can chip away at it with Needhog. And uh, I am feeling pretty confident that we'll probably be able to defeat Fader in the next episode. I know I just talked about overconfidence in the previous one, but uh, uh, it's, it's feeling very doable. I think. <laughs> anyway, this is the episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Chuck me a like if you enjoyed it. Otherwise, stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.